Each day in the U.S., 244 million vehicles guzzle over 378 million gallons of gasoline. That's enough gasoline to overflow the Empire State Building. Do you ever sit at the pump and think to yourself, I wonder how this gas got here and why is it yellow when it came from something black? Gasoline, or petrol as I like to call it in Europe, comes from the raw material crude oil. You hear of oil in the news in the context of war over oil, oil rig explosion, or of that company that gets a bad rap by the name of OPEC. But what is this black gold and where does it come from? It all started 250 million years ago when plants and animals died and the remains were buried under layers and layers and layers of sand and mud. Over time, heat and pressure turned them into oil. Today, we drill seven miles into the earth until oil is hit. Once we strike oil, we place a pumping jack, aka a nodding donkey, over it to keep the oil flowing. The pumps feed the oil to a pipeline or get barreled for placement on 300 meter long ships, which is over three football fields. The oil is on its way to refineries where 47% of each barrel will be used to make gasoline. Heated at 698 degrees Fahrenheit in a crude tower, the vapor rises and siphons off. After being collected, the right amount of octane is added by a chemist to avoid engine knocking. Once ready, the gas is pumped underground to holding tanks where gas tankers fill up and deliver the fuel to your local gas station where you pump it into your vehicle. And all you can think is, why is gas so expensive? when really you're only paying a fraction of what other countries are paying. Example, the country of Turkey pays 9.24 per gallon. That's ridiculous. Compared to the US who only pays 2.62 per gallon. And if you can do the math, that's a difference of $6.62. That amounts to 3,500 more a year, which is over twice what the average American pays. So stop complaining about high gas prices because quite frankly, they're not.